sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Today's players will be battling their way through four outrageous events, and after that, they'll get a chance at tackling our radical rock, the aggro crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and he or she will get be able to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment, and we'll have a professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. What is so up, everybody? The Retro Gamer is back for yet another Retro Play tonight, and we are looking at Nickelodeon Guts on the SNES, one of my personal favorite games when I was a kid. Let's jump right into it. I want to go Guts training because I don't have another player to start with, so... <coughs> I want to go the full show, and I'm taking blue. Okay, what the? Why didn't the up button work there? Stupid thing. On your mark. All right, we're signed in. <clears throat> we need 700 points to compete on the aggro crag later. This is tough to do, especially when the events are all of this. <clears throat> especially when I haven't played this game in ages. I actually own the Super Nintendo copy, but I haven't played it yet. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Yep. I like that voice in the aggro crag there in the background. Crowd loving this. And it feels just like an episode of the old TV show. <clears throat> I honestly miss that show, to be honest. It was one of my favorites growing up along with the great American Gladiators. <clears throat> and no, I'm not talking about the 2008 Gladiator remake that was trash. We'll get into that later. The timing here is you want to you wanna hit as soon as you get off the ground if you can. The heck? Okay, sorry about that. Lag. Let's speed it up more. I can't even get this to go in. I've got like two points so far. That's kind of pathetic. I'm way better on the ground events, but you gotta be balanced if you want to make the crag. Ah, come on, you can do better than that. <clears throat> Me doing well in this game is like Shaq making a free throw. It happened very rarely. <clears throat> if ever. This game is all about timing, unfortunately, and I just guess I haven't practiced this enough. I don't have it. Timing, that is. Right. This is going to be a long, long day. Or night. <clears throat> I at least like the fact that there's stats there to tell you how you're doing. There we go. There's another one. I do know how to do the specials, I just don't remember how to do them. We'll cover that in a later episode if I can remember how to do it. But this will only take one episode to deal with. I'm going to be reviewing it later. Line it up. Stop with the, the Facebook crap.
on your mark. <coughs> Get set. Only three points there. At least the next game is a, get a running game, so we'll do better there, I'm hoping. Let's get this out of full screen. Still see what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a running game. Let me see if I remember the controls to this. <coughs> Are the object of this event, is he, like it said, get to the finish line as quick and fast as you can. Just like on the old, if you, if any of you guys remember the show version, that's basically, the rules of the game basically follow the show, except off the wall is a bonus round here. Making some decent time so far. Just gotta figure out how to get up there, there. Yeah, that's the regular jump button. <clears throat> Make sure to take as little as little hits as you can here. I don't know why I grabbed that rope. Didn't need to. Ouch. Little time bonus there. There are bonuses thrown about the course. So grab them if you can. <coughs> Connected with the rope, I accidentally let go. Now I'd like go again. Need to stop pressing C here. I'm emulating this, so my controls are a little bit different than they would be on a regular NES pad. I have this game on the, like I said, I have this on the SNES, but I can't record it. Don't have the capture card. Besides, that'd be the same game anyway. But, anyway, back to the game. Back to the task at hand of getting past this game in a decent enough time to score some points to make up for that awful first run. <clears throat> How do I get up there? Is there any way? On your mark. Um. Get set. Guess I gotta go down again. Yep. That's still decent. Let's see how many points it got us. <coughs> Ooh, that's good. Six minutes and 42 seconds in. Not that it matters. Next event. Ugh, another aerial event. It balances out. It's two, two on the ground and two in the air, and then the aggro crag if you make that. <coughs> Let's see if we can figure out these, these games. I just, I don't have the timing down yet, like I said earlier. I can't seem to get the... You're supposed to get, shoot it right after he hits the ground, I know. If I don't score a single point here, I'm gonna be upset. Uh, keep letting go too soon here. Or too late. There is no rhyme or reason to this timing, seriously. I usually specials will get you two points, but regular scores will get you one. You figure out the specials. That was one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, I may make this into multiple episodes. I suck. I haven't made a single one of these yet. <laughs> I guess it's time to bring out the Super Nintendo and just practice. If 
for the next episode or I'm gonna suck again. There we go. <clears throat> there it went. And get near enough. It went in. That's a shock. I picked up a couple of scores and didn't really get shut out. A couple is not really going to handle it, though. I need to figure out the timing to this game and quick. On your mark, get set. Did better than we did in the last event, that's for damn sure. Not by much, though. No. <coughs> <clears throat> and now the final before the aggro crack here, which is going to be, yeah, and I'm not getting 700 points, so, tornado run. This is tricky. Now in this game, you just gotta get to one end, from one end to the other, but there are obstacles every which way. I think it's in this event that off the wall is a hidden event. If you can find the, the bonus the bonus icon, well, it'll tell you. If you if you find that icon, you can you can do off the wall, which was which I'll show you the event if we find the icon. So it's one of the two time clock icons, which gives you extra time, like I explained in the last event. <coughs> Down and right does that baseball slide thing that I just did. That saves you a heck of a lot of time, too. Got it. I don't... I can't remember... I can't remember if it was this or if it was basic training where you could, where you could do that bonus event. I'm thinking it was this, but we'll find out, I guess. Ah, if I can get past these. These platforms always trip me up in this episode, this one. Down and right swim through the water. <clears throat> I should have said that in the last episode, but I in the last uh, ground event, but I didn't. See if we can get through these. Ah, yeah, you want to use uh, you want to use the uh, X button to roll to do the roll jump here. I'm probably not gonna get to show you the aggro crag though, because I don't have enough points. We'll do that at another time. But rest assured, the aggro crag is in the game. <clears throat> I've just barely ever made it to it because these events are even tougher on the uh, emulator than they are on the actual SNES. Not that I'm complaining or griping or any of that. I'm just spilling it how it is to you folks in case you ever want to play this, which I recommend you do. I recommend that you go out and play it because these games, this game is actually very solid for a sports game of that time. I cannot get up there. <clears throat> Is there another way around that, I wonder? Nope, you gotta do that. Wait a minute. I wish that reached up higher. Guess I just gotta keep moving. We made it. Yes, we made it. Now where's that bonus icon? Is that in this event or not? Ah, frick, back on these things again. So we know we can do it. Now here, you wanna, as soon as you get up the pole, you wanna roll, roll it, roll to these poles. You need to try your, but yeah, that's actually easier than what I thought it was gonna be, so. No real commentary needed there, folks. <clears throat> but somewhere there is a bonus game icon that you can have. I need to find it. I think there is, anyhow. I needed that. 
Oh boy, did it, it dropped me right where I thought it did. So we're gonna have to do this all over again now. <clears throat> and I'm probably gonna run out of friggin' time too. Yeah, these events are timed as you notice up in the right hand corner there. You stick the landing. You roll over here. And you miss again. Not intentionally. I just backfired on my jump there. See, this event here is all about timing. As anybody who's ever seen the show can tell you. Now, like I said, this part of the event is all about your timing of the jumps. As you can see there, I over, I mistimed it and over jumped. Uh, again, mistimed it. I only have a minute and a half, so I don't think I'm gonna finish this stage without a little extra help. Stupid platforms. Action sports games should not have platforming. It's that simple. See? That's the reason why. Platforming should be reserved for games like Mario. Notice I said games like. I didn't say Mario as a whole, but... Yes, finally. A little too late, though. I have to make it up there somehow. Uh, <clears throat> your best bet is just to hop over all these, like I did the first time. But keep your momentum going or you're going to fall off. Like I did there and had to duck him. Make the jump here. This is going to be uber close, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I'm going to make this. Nope. Well, that's going to be our show, ladies and gentlemen. I did not make the aggro crag. So we'll try this again in the future. And before I go, I just have one question for you. Oh.